Okay, what we have here is a 1988 Honda NX250. Um, this was considered the first adventure bike. It is a six-speed, um, so you've got plenty of uh, gears to play with. You got the right gears for the dirt. You got the right gears to travel on the interstates. It's just fine on the freeways, no problem at all. It's, um, I think it's got something like 26 horsepower. Um, it cruises on the freeway with, with really no problem at all. Um, it's got plenty of power to, to keep up with traffic. You know, you're not going to do maybe over 60, 65. You're going to keep up with traffic. Um, if you want to go 90, that's up to you. I don't know. But anyway, um, it plays up here in the dirt, so it just got a bath. This is about as clean as it ever gets. It is just a nice bike. Um, one of the proudest moments of my life, and I'm an old man, um, we're kind of simplifying. We're planning to leave the state. Everybody's leaving California for all the obvious reasons. But anyway, um, one of the prouder moments I've had was that we, a group of us went up in the Sierra foothills here. Uh, well, not in the foothills, all the way up in the mountains. And we uh, used the back, uh, the, the, the timber roads, the old... The old um, um, timber harvesting roads and, and the, the fire breaks and we rode from um, fire lookout to fire lookout and so there was a bunch of people but there was this one kid I don't know 50 years younger than me at least and he had a KTM 450 and this guy kept up with that KTM on his coattails all day long I was just amazed and I was amazed at my stamina but um, the bike had just no complaints at all and and in those roads doing jumps dodging trees rocks ruts uh, jump doing water I mean the whole day was just a wonderful ride with a bunch of friends uh, cow tailing and um, this bike just held its own and had no complaints at all. Just stayed underneath me all day long. We didn't crash. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a great day. And that is just what this bike is made for, okay? You, uh, we rode up there on Highway 49, uh, took off at Sugar Bowl, went into the deep, dense mountains up there and rode the fire trails and uh, visited the, the lookout stations, and it was just a great afternoon, great lunch too, but that's another story. Anyway, it, uh, it's quite happy on the highway. You can see I've, uh, I bought it from a guy that um, motocrossed. His son grew up and, and quit, and so he sold his son's uh, motocross bike. That's this one, and uh, I added the lights. I added uh, instruments back in. You can see that they're, uh, the only ones I could find were European kilometers per hour. So sorry about that. But everything works. The bike's in great condition. And uh, whoever buys it's going to be as happy as me, no doubt about it. It's got a, a non-stock front end. Um, I'm not sure if the, if the shocks are the same or not. But the wheel's definitely uh, bigger. I believe that's a 21-inch front wheel. I don't think it came with one. I, I think it came with a smaller wheel. And the rear has a, has a fat boy on it. It uh, doesn't look that aggressive. It's pretty much a street, but it did just fine all day long. So I'm not to complain. When you get this bike, you also get a few freebies here. Let me show you. This is an engine, complete engine and transmission, all stock. Um, it has, needs some top end work um, because um, the prior owner ran it uh, right out of uh, water. I guess he blew a, blew a line or ripped off a line or something and he lost his water 
and out in the deep uh, deep world of no nothing, he didn't have much of a choice, and so he just wrote it until uh, until he could get to some place, and by that time the engine wouldn't restart. You got a spare tank, perfect condition, no dents, needs some paint, and it needs a bath as well, and you get a spare rim. So um, that's that, and also the book. I have the uh, the NT650 manual, the NX250 uh, manual goes with it, and uh, I don't know. I hope you like the bike as much as I do. Oh, let me show you. This is this is what it does all the time. Starts right up. It is just wonderfully reliable. Um, when I visit my parents in Sacramento, I frequently take this bike. Um, it's just a nice ride. It's light. It's comfortable. It sits pretty high, so my wife doesn't ride it. It's not for short people. So uh, I hope you like it as much as I did. Bye.